book of Isaiah, he said, if I want to punish a nation, I will give them a five leader. They don't think that we'll be able to do God in Jupiter. But today is beyond that. It seems it's still very close. Father, we say thank you. It's done in our spirit, except the Lord keep a man. Nothing can keep him. Thank you for keeping him. You keep him, his wife, and children. Father, we say thank you. The children tore up through, through the air, through the room. Thank you for granting you to the nation. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. We give you the honor. Hallelujah. Even at the point they enter into accident, you make them to escape. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Hallelujah. All the people that encourage, all the people that make him to be a laughter, to make him laugh, to make him enjoy, none of them is missing in his life. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Hallelujah. No one is running away from him. Father, we say thank you. Hallelujah. We give you the praise. That are worthy, but people run away from them. Not him. Father, we say thank you. We give you the praise. On behalf of all the widows that we are taking care of, Father, we say thank you. On behalf of the blessed people that we are taking care of, Father, we say thank you. Those that we are sent to school, they are paid their school on their behalf, Father, we say thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. We exalt for the Receive and praise in the name of Jesus. It did not before you know me. It should not. May you have set his grave down as a town. May you have set his bread as a town. May you have set his offering as a town. May you have set his dancing as a town. Collectively, he has invited many to come and witness to come before you. And they came. Father, as all of them came and they are dancing, may you have said they are dancing. In the name of Jesus. Everything we do today to your glory, may you have said the Lord. In the name of Jesus. A friend to Dr. Taiwala in Kafaladi. We have been together now since 1976. So I think I'm also qualified to say so much about him. In the 43 years, this is a man who has not changed. I've never seen the kind of humility the doctor has and the kind of benevolence. You know, with all that God has used him to achieve, he's so humble that. It's, all, it's unprecedented. This is a lover of God. This is a man who enjoys helping people. And I'm not surprised at what we are doing today and where we find ourselves in the church. My only prayer for him is God will continue to use him and that at the end of it all, he will make it to heaven. As he's helping people, God will send out to him. That God will give him all his hard desires, his aspiration, what he wants for mankind. That thing that he desires most, God should listen to him. The, the man is undescribable because he's a silent achiever who does not pride himself but believes in God. Thank you very much. Yes, anyway, thank you for the opportunity. My name is Adebola Denuga. So, Dr. Taiwo Afolabe is a very good man and somebody that I've known from cradle when we, when, we were, when we were young together, we do things together, but for God so good for his life, I'm thanking God for his life. And may God continue to, may God continue to bless him more, 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 more. So because it's a it's a it's, it's a helper of the drunk trodden. It's a helper of drunk trodden. It it goes out of the way, it goes a long way to help people from from far and wide. It helps people, it touches life. So may God continue to bless him. Bless him more, 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 more. My wish for him now is to celebrating 57. I want, I'm praying God for a good guy there that will spend another 57 years more 
on head, in good health, not in sickness. My name is Adini Ario, a friend to Dr. Afalabi. Dr. Afalabi is a nice person. He is a wonderful man. I'm so happy for him today, for the Thanksgiving. He's a very, very you know, warm-hearted person. Um, all his life, he has been doing a lot of things for his friends. You know, none of his friends that can make any bad complaint about him. So to date, he's a nice man. And may um, God continue to bless him and protect his family. In Jesus' name I pray. To continue to, to grow in health and in, and in love. I'm Mrs. Talaneke Ibu Ayola. Um, actually, I came here to celebrate one of my brother, a virtue man, who is very gentle, respectful, and honored man, Dr. Taiwo Afolabi. This man, I don't know, even know where to start about him because they have touched a lot of people's lives, including me myself. And I really appreciate him so, so much. Anytime he called me, I always answer his call. Because if someone touches your life, we're not relative, but our time goes on. As we were joining the journey together, he became my brother because he's just too, he's just too nice to me. Anytime I call upon him, he answered me. So respectful. In fact, he really deserves more than what we have come to do for him today. And I pray to God Almighty that by this time next year, his Thanksgiving should be more than this. I pray that every one of us that attempt his 57th year birthday today will be alive to celebrate him again in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil wealth confession against him shall prosper. And I also pray for his wife. We usually call him Mommy Miriam. She's a lovely and gentle lady. Shade Afolabi, you are a blessed woman. You are a blessed woman. And I pray that the Lord Almighty will continue to bless you, bless your children, bless everything that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, my name is Remy Shinaba, a.k.a. Alabama. You want me to say something right about uh, Dr. Afolabi? Dr. Tawa Afolabi is a personal friend. I don't know what to say because he has done beyond human comprehension in my own life. He has been the source of my joy. After God, is Dr. Taiwo Afolabi in all ways. He asked me to come to Nigeria. I relocated to Nigeria, really, and I've never been disappointed. He's been a wonderful man. He's a trusted man. He's a man you can trust. If you give his, his word, you see millions of people surrounding him. He still takes time to attend to each and every one of us. I can name many among our friends that are here today that if we don't have Taiye, we will not be anybody. Not in this town, not in this Nigeria, not in this porous society. Dr. Afolabi Taiwo Enitolonda to fire to to nse bi olorun like nse olorun tori pe iwa e da pupo ju olorun ke o na ke awon eyan o na wa lo online o ka awon eyan is been a wonderful man to god be the glory over his life over the family over his business he has been he has been near near to god in my own life and in many people's life that I have known, he's never tired of helping. Once you go today, you tell him your problem, he will solve it. You come tomorrow, he's still there for you. Who else in Umambi can do that? Tell me a single man that can do that. Sometimes he tells you that, oh, I wish I can help the world. Though very impossible, but to the best of my knowledge, you will never meet him and he didn't impact your life. He will one way or the other impact your life. So may God bless him. 
I, I say happy birthday again to him. May the Lord uphold him. May, may, may the Lord crown him with good health and long life. I cannot pray for success. He's already successful and he will, be con he will continuously be successful with the children, with the family and everybody. Be with him. Guide him. He has got wisdom. Everything that I want to... He has got blessing. He has got grace. All those things that I can wish him, he has gotten it. May God never take it away from me. May the Lord never take it away from me. Very good man. Over there or here? Over there. Yeah, people came and uh, each year I celebrate my birthday. I'm so happy that I have some of my friends, my close uh, associates, always be with me. And uh, all we do is just to, to give uh, God the glory and honor and adoration for what He has been doing in our lives. So I gather people in London that a uh, few of my friends that uh, we had dinner and we enjoy ourselves. What I believe is that uh, you cannot say you have achieved everything but uh, for what God has done in my life uh, I have to thank God. Uh, I appreciate everything because without Him nothing could have been possible in my life. So that's the reason why in everything I give thanks to him, to thank him for what he has done, what he's doing and what he's still going to do. So there is still a lot to be done. And I'm looking forward to so many things. But uh, I don't want to be an Oliver Twist. Where whatever you have, you are not fulfilled. I'm fulfilled because if I look back, for what God has done in my life, I think uh, God has done a lot, so I'm, I'm, I'm fulfilled. But I still believe God still have a lot of things kept for, for me, which I believe that uh, God will reveal and will take it up wherever we find ourselves. So first and foremost, I appreciate God, I thank God, like I have been saying. And I appreciate all my friends, of my old friends and my new one who always stay by me anytime I'm doing things like this. Once I call them, you remember that the, the pastor was saying that there's nothing in life that is more than having good friends around you. And I know that each time I call them, they always answer me. And I appreciate them. I appreciate Pastor, our senior pastor, because he, he puts a lot of efforts to make sure that each time I celebrate my birthday, we always have a very renouncing, very, how do I put it, a, a very uh, joyous uh, birthday. Now everybody come together and we always dance, we always happy, and we then decide to give glory to God. So it's something that I went well and it was very, very, very marvelous and amazing. I mean, we all saw it how everybody was dancing and thanking God, even though if it was only to do that in the church, outside the church. May you find out that there are some things you do in church that is even better than when you go outside and celebrate it, your birthday. I mean, we had a good day, a good time. Because I believe that only in church uh, you can celebrate. To me, that's what I believe because the reason being that when you celebrate in the church, that's, that means you are in the presence of God. And God says in His presence, there is healing, there is happiness, there is blessing. A lot of things are the goodness of God. So I decided to do my thanksgiving to celebrate in the presence of God because I know that for not only me and for those, however, for those who came, I know that they will take something back home which is the blessings of God, the healing, the 
many things happen, you know. So I believe that it's better for me to celebrate it in the presence of God.